All right, what's good? Welcome to Cine 230 Remix Cultures. I'm Andre, Andre Sirwa, AKA the real Dr. Dre, AKA DJ Food Stamp. I'm out here with my dog, chilling. Actually, we out in the chicken yard. You know what I'm saying? Chicks be out here. Whoop, whoop, throw them a little food. They'll be bugging out. Anyways. You are in a summer online version of Remix Cultures. This is the syllabus review video. So you want to feel special in your life. You know what I'm saying? You want to feel loved. Get yourself some chickens. You can feed them rocks. They'll think you are your God, you know? Here you go, girls. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Anyways, they'll be clocking out here. Um, anyways, welcome to this online class. Listen, I'm going to spend a few minutes going over the syllabus just so you you know, uh, in case you need some interpretation of the words, but I would, you know, download and, uh, you know, uh, watch along, I guess, or listen to me babble and look at the syllabus. Anyways, I started off with some quotes from some great American douchebags, uh, George, uh, 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 excuse me, Thomas Jefferson and Ben Franklin, although George Washington fits fits into the uh, categorization too and some quotes by them they actually had some really nice quotes about innovation and remixing that that fit nicely in this class that I'll go over uh, later and then a quote from my, my man DJ Spooky uh, which is a little cooler but um anyways uh, you know check it out the instructor info you got you know everything you need to know about me my nicknames uh, <laughs> my name uh, my office hours okay uh, which you know change uh, all the time uh, you know, every term or every time I offer the class, so just check the syllabus for that. That will be on Zoom on the, the you know, the online version of that. Uh, I also give you my email and my cell phone number, so, you know, if you have an emergency or something, you know, with a quiz or anything, and you need to hit me up or a question that just, you can't wait for an email response, which is pretty much nothing, uh, you can text message me or whatever, um, or we can set up an appointment for a call or, or whatever. Um, I got my social media on there, DJ Food Stamp 33 if you want those crazy Instagram photos of me and like my kid and records I collect and stuff like that. Um, I love how Spanky comes out for the, for the video, man. You show out for the, for the camera. Um, but yeah, and my SoundCloud link if you want, you want to check out my hot trap beats. No, I don't, I don't make trap beats. Uh, I make like sample based beats, but you know, I don't even do that that much anymore. Um, just cause I'm a busy, busy old head, you know. Hey girls, what's going on? A little food, you gotta keep a little food in your pocket. Um, anyways, so how do you wanna communicate me, with me in this class? Yo, shoot me an email, that's like the first line, you know what I'm saying? And what you wanna do is in the subject header, put Cine 230, you never know if I'm running, <clears throat> you know, uh, more classes, you know, just so I know what class you're in and I know, you know, a little bit about what what you need You'll hit me up by email. I, I check that fairly often even in summertime um, You know, so hit me hit me up that way um, During my office hours too, like if you can't reach me on zoom, I have really bad Wi-Fi and cell service so zoom really sucks up here at the farm, but life is good. So there's a little bit of a sacrifice there and I'm happy to make it. Um, so if you can't get in touch with me or the Zoom's not working, just call me, uh, you know, hit me up on a phone. Y'all ever do that? Use a phone to like talk to someone instead of just, you know, actually call people. You can do that. Um, and I give you my number for that. As you should know, this is an online course. Uh, this is, you know, a web-based class. So everything is asynchronous. Um, and so it's up to you to do the work. It's up to you to, you know, you're supposed to do four modules per week. That's four lectures, four quizzes, um, and a couple responses per week and a, and a final project. So you, you got to stay on top of that. I can't metaphorically, you know, fold your laundry or do your dishes or cook your mac and cheese or wake you up for class. You got to do that yourself. So, you know, it's up to you to do the work. But do note this, uh, a lot of these lecture videos were filmed during the pandemic. So there's a lot of pandemic based humor maybe um you know the early part of the pandemic when no one knew what was going on um you know whatever so just ignore all date based stuff if i'm like oh the test tomorrow or the paper that's due this or that just totally ignore that 
Um, you know, but do know that, you know, just don't pay attention to that stuff. But the curriculum is fire. It's on point, you know, so, so don't worry about that. Um, on the syllabus, there's some technical requirements. Basically, you need internet and a computer somehow. Um, you know, and a computer is real important um, because, because of the quizzes in this class. You don't want to be doing those on your phone or with Safari. So just note that. Um, and you need some Wi-Fi. You need some Wi-Fi. Um, I'm not going to read over the course description. Um, I always find that to be an insult for faculty to, you know, read stuff to students. Like reading PowerPoint slides. Like, why? Why are you even there? Just like I'm not going to read the syllabus. So what's this class about? Well, it's about some important stuff. It's about ideas. It's about originality. It's about owning ideas and owning originality and owning creativity. And what is creativity? Um, the class is about, you know, broadly remixing. And it's largely about the intersection of corporate culture, um, creative culture, uh, sub cultures and legal cultures and government you know and what happens when all those disparate discrete entities sort of collide with this thing called originality and creativity and how is that rewarded and uh, who is rewarded for that and how are they compensated salute anyways um so we're gonna go over this we're gonna look at everything from the most bland remixes by the greatest remixer of all time, the Walt Disney Company, to creative, cutting-edge, subcultural, you know, things like Machinima or, you know, uh, knockoff, you know, sneaker remixes or like critical, um, you know, subversive art that appropriates to sample-based like hip-hop beats and hip-hop music and, and all that stuff. Um, you know, and I think the important thing too is like, you know, as stated in the syllabus, like half of the American economy is intellectual property based. It may even be more than that. Most of what we export to the world are intellectual properties, movies, music, software, patents, brands, all that stuff. That's our greatest export. So the chances of you working in an industry, in a company, in a job that has to deal with this is pretty much really high. You're always going to be dealing with this stuff. Or if you start your own business, you know, you want to know what a trademark is and what, what you can and can't trademark and, and what type of brand you should have and how that matters in a legal, legal way. Or maybe, you know, you're a biochem major and you invent shit, you know, who owns that? Um, how do you patent it? All that, all that stuff. But I think the important thing is every day you create things that are copyrightable um, and you also infringe on copyrights every day, every single damn day of your life. Um, and that's a damn fact, you know what I'm saying? So you may get bored with some of this content. <laughs> Listen, I get it, but also it's incredibly, incredibly valuable and it will really knowing a lot of this stuff will set you ahead in the professional world. And that's why I say it's very important. Okay. Um, yo, expected learning outcomes. I'm not reading that to y'all. Y'all can read that, but you are going to learn some shit. Let me just, let me just say that some valuable stuff. Okay. I think the important thing is the disclaimer here. Check it. I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> I look like a, you know, uh, an idiot trying to be a farmer with their cool straw hat um, and their chickens and all that stuff, you know, but uh, one thing I'm not is a lawyer. How I got into all this stuff literally is, you know, I've been a hip hop fan since the early 80s, right? And all hip hop music is, you know, initially was sample based. It sampled, it literally sampled, you know, other people's music and, 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 and culture, you know, so much. And, um, I got into that, got into DJing, got into beat making, and that's sort of what led me here, you know, it was like my own practice and, and interest, and I started reading and all that stuff, and what really got me there was, uh, I was watching the news, I was in grad school, and I seen the little ticker, you know, on CNN that DJ uh, Danger Mouse, Brian, got, got sued for the Grey album, where he remixed 
the acapellas from Jay-Z's Black Album with the um, beats he made from the Beatles' White Album and made the Grey Album as like a promotional thing, which I'd actually just gotten in the mail a couple months earlier. And homie was getting sued. Um, and I was like, yo. And so I started, you know, I was in a legal class and I started reading more about sample case law, sampling legislation, and just, you know, went went from there, wrote a thesis on it, you know, um, a thesis on it, excuse me, uh, my dissertation is ab abstractly about, you know, uh, ideas and innovation, but anyways, that's where I come from. So just what I'm saying is like, this is just bits and pieces. Uh, these laws are written sort of vaguely and confusingly, um, purposefully. Um, we're not really supposed to be able to navigate them super easily, okay? So anyways, just if you get sued, don't say, well, well, the real Dr. Dre said this and, you know, oh, shit, you know, <laughs> don't, don't do that. Um, but it gives you, well, I'll give you a vague idea of what you're doing and what's legal, what's illegal, etc. okay?